Hey guys, Clem from Honeybee Social, and today I'm going to go over my predictions of what's going to be coming up in LinkedIn in 2020. 2020 is a really big year for a lot of us, especially if you're a small business owner. So I think that there's going to be a lot of small business friendly things that are going to happen. In 2019, LinkedIn did release in the U.S. Um, more small business friendly things, such as you could look for services via LinkedIn um, and freelancers and small businesses alike could go in and actually advocate for themselves. I think that maybe they might hopefully be bringing that internationally, which would be awesome for our small business owners here in Australia. The other thing I think they're going to do is really strengthen groups. Now, if you don't know, groups actually exist in LinkedIn that are the same thing, or the same concept as in Facebook, where they're to build a community of like-minded individuals where you can exchange ideas and, and products and advice and that kind of thing. But over the years, the um, groups in LinkedIn have become quite spammy and the admins don't actually have very much control in terms of um, monitoring and removing spammy comments. So I believe they've actually just done an update on LinkedIn groups where admins do now have that control. But I think also eventually they're going to give um, even the users a little bit more power interaction where they might give us the ability to share information that we have seen on um, a group post and actually put that out on your newsfeed. So if you find something that's really relevant to you and that you really um, resonate with, you'll be able to share that on your newsfeed. They also may um, put in also search in groups, which I know that Facebook did that in 2019, I believe. They did um, the ability that you could search for topics in groups, which is great when there's questions that are the same question gets asked over and over and over again. Now you can just search and see if um, someone has posted that previously within the group. I believe that that will be coming to LinkedIn. The other thing that I think is going to be a really, really big thing that's going to happen on LinkedIn is employee engagement and advocacy. Now, this is for twofold. Social media has given power to the people uh, where, you know, you can easily complain about a company or you can easily advocate and become a raving fan for that company. I think on LinkedIn, that is going to be very critical for companies to encourage or um, help employees find that voice that they need where employees can, you know, they can either go, my company is absolutely amazing, you know, they offer daycare as well as, you know, much more paid leave, um, that sort of thing. Or they can go, you know what, I actually don't agree with this particular thing that is going on within my industry or something or other. It will bring companies to account where, you know, they will have to actually help boost their employees because employees are now finding a voice. This also may encourage CEOs to get involved on LinkedIn in order to really advocate and promote their employees. There's not many really big CEOs that are very active on LinkedIn, and it'd be great to see some CEOs of large companies, especially here in Australia, go and not necessarily promote their business, but promote the people that are behind it, the people that actually keep that business running next to them and see how they can help uh, promote topics that are important to their employees. You know, CEOs are not necessarily there to run a company. They also, one of their biggest, biggest responsibilities is to make sure that employees are happy because if you have happy employees, you will have happy customers as well. So employee engagement, I think, will be a really, really big thing. From an employee perspective to the CEO's perspective, LinkedIn, I think, is going to become one of those great mediums where employees can voice um, how much they love and advocate the company that they work for. And then one of the other big things is, I think, pay to play is going to increase. Now, what, by, what I mean by that is ads will increase on LinkedIn, unfortunately. And I mean, from the number of ads that you'll see to the price you're going to be paying um, for LinkedIn ads. LinkedIn is already really expensive when it comes to um, ads. And unfortunately, that's because, you know, they kind of are the B2B platform. There's not necessarily one that um, dominates as well as LinkedIn when it comes to business to business relationships. And people use LinkedIn to not only network, but as an information resource. And so 
ads are simply going to increase. It's just one of those things that is going to happen on every social media channel, I believe, in 2020. We're just going to simply see a lot more ads. So that means that marketers and digital marketers are going to have to up their game when it comes to ad copy, when it comes to engaging with their audience, and they're going to have to really, really hone in on the customer psychology in order to be able to engage, convert, and delight their audience. So that's it. Those are my predictions for 2020. So again, I think that employee engagement on LinkedIn will be a big one. You're going to have to pay to play a lot more um, as well as seeing a lot more ads. And I think groups are going to hopefully come back into the spotlight on LinkedIn. I would love to hear what you think that LinkedIn's going to come out with in 2020. Feel free to write it down in the comments. And feel free to also send me an email at clem at honeybee social with any questions about LinkedIn that you have or connect with me on LinkedIn. See ya. Have questions or need more information? Head to honeybeesocial.com.au.